welcome to another episode of The Home Genius. In today's episode, we're going to build a sail canopy over the deck. It's getting hot in the summer and old people don't like to sit out in the sun very long. This is going to be a really interesting project. A lot of uh, interesting engineering uh, done by The Home Genius. And uh, if the lightning doesn't kill us, I think it'll work out really well. <clears throat> so here's the uh, construction issues here. So it's basically 16 by 16, except for this railing that juts out <clears throat> about four feet. So what I want to do is have a sail that's about 15 feet long and about eight feet wide. <clears throat> That'll cover the, the bulk of the lower section of the deck. And what I decided to do after many different attempts <clears throat> was use this inch and a half EMT conduit. I drill some holes in it all the way through and I'm attaching it to the deck railing. So one of them will go back here. One of them about nine feet or so forward, two more into the back corner of, of the far side of the railing. That'll give me the four posts to hang it lengthwise. The other thing is I don't want these uh, posts that go up about ten feet high to be an eyesore, especially in the winter. I want them to go up easy, come down easy, and not get in the way. This is the first dry fit of the sun sail implementation. This is the box rail that's being used <clears throat> as a stanchion to put the sail on. Now we're going to slip it over this piece of conduit that is bolted to the deck. As you can see behind me, I've already installed the first um, sail pier, and it slides down onto the conduit, the inch and a half conduit that I bolted to the top and bottom rails of the deck, and it just slips right off. I can remove it. Take it down to the basement, put it in the garage for next season. You could say this is called a box rail. It's basically used for hanging sliding doors or sliding curtains, industrial applications or home applications. And I decided it was probably just about the right fit to slide right over the inch and a half conduit. What I did at the top was I took a, another piece, a small piece of inch and a half conduit, put it in here for, in the track, and drilled into it, put in a bolt, and this will be used to hang the sail. And the reason I'm using this is so it can slide on the track, and I can lower the sail halfway down or all the way down to the top rail of the deck <clears throat> and give me different heights. And I got these uh, Clovis pins that slide in, and they come out nice and easy, just disconnect. The pin slides out, and now I can slide my sail up and down to the, next, to the next stop point, which is another Clovis pin. And to put it on, I just slide it back over the 
inch and a half conduit. There you have it. So that's the plan. I've got four more of these to put up once I get the sale. Um, hopefully it comes tomorrow. And then I think you have to set it out, let the sun kind of beat on it for a while to soften it up. And then I'll see if it's the right length and how much tension I'm going to need. Um, and we'll see how the plan comes together. I'll see you then.